Welcome back to a new video. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Logitech G305. That's what it's called? Yeah, Logitech G305. Um, it's a super lightweight gaming mouse that I am personally using for productivity. So here's the back, here's the front. Listen to that clickiness. So let's get straight into the unboxing and we'll talk more about it then. Okay, welcome back. So, previously before I was using a wired mouse from Coolmaster, I think it was. It was slightly heavier, it was wired, keep moving it, you know, the wire like keep touching stuff and it just annoyed me, you know. Um, I eventually replaced the keyboard, which it was a keyboard and mouse set. If you haven't watched my gaming PC video, you need to watch that. I think it's in that and it's also in um, my mechanical PC video so I replaced the mechanical keyboard and I was meaning to replace the mouse but I was like the mouse is working for now I can deal with the issues I don't need to buy a new one as yet but I decided to bite the bullet and buy the G305 it was on sale for around well it wasn't on sale I bought it for around 45 pounds I think it was and I think it's a well worth investment I do like the gaming features because I was gaming a lot um, previously. Well, I was trying to game a lot previously with mouse and keyboard and I failed. As you can see the control there, controller there because I'm a controller guy. I've been playing controller on console, went to PC, still controller. I couldn't switch. So yeah, um, I liked the gaming features and also mainly because I couldn't I couldn't bring myself to buy the MX3S, which is like 150, I think it's cost. Something like that. I'll definitely put it up on the screen. But that was way too expensive. I'm like, I'm just getting back into this mechanical keyboard and mouse thing. I don't need to be breaking the bank to like buy stuff. So I wanted to give you guys a realistic um, review based off what I've been using and what I can actually afford so yeah like I said it's super lightweight super nice moving it around in the screen has been brilliant like I have no issues there's also a button here right and it's like each time I click it it gives me different lights that show me that the DPI is changing if you don't know what DPI is it's basically hmm, how do I explain it it's basically how fast the cursor moves with each direction that you're moving it right up down up down but forward back side to side if you're on the different the different light tells you the deep pair which means the speed in which the cursor will be moving on the screen the only thing that i don't like about this mouse is that it comes with you know batches which it says will last for quite long i guess we'll see i think i, I can't remember if it said like 30 days or something like that i'll put it up on the screen also but uh, i wasn't too bothered about it activation is really fast you have two buttons here 
for those gamers that need those extra side buttons i don't use them for anything because i'm not using it to game but no i think for a pretty good wireless gaming mouse this is it a lot of gamers do use this mouse even up to this day because of how lightweight fast and easy it is especially that dpi button there when i had the cool master mouse i had to like hold some side button and click something else and it was like it was hard you know the only thing about this mouse that i would have probably liked is if it had rgb in there also just like my keyboard because you see the keyboard like glowing this would have been nice to have like some inner glow also but you know i really like logitech's products so i was like let me just go for this it's 45 pounds i can afford it and it's nice so yeah i definitely would recommend getting the g305 especially if you're a gamer looking for like a lightweight mouse that can fit most hand types i want to say like i have like larger hands well longer hands and my fingers are quite long and this mouse is normally said like for medium to smaller size hands but it fit my hand quite well i think that's maybe because just my fingers are long so if you're slim long fingers then this will also work for you and it is quite nice like i said the click in yeah it, it doesn't like get stuck or anything like that so it's quite nice i'll see how it do i see how it does over time the only thing that also isn't as nice is the scroll wheel like having an infinity scroll would be so good but for the price point having a normal scroll is also fine i can't i can't really complain about anything but yeah that's my logitech g305 review and nothing else to say really so if you like this video give it a like and remember to subscribe i'm trying to grow the channel we're at now almost 250 subs want to get it to i think my goal is like 350 within the next two three months next quarter i want to say and by the end of this quarter i want to reach 350 so help me to push that definitely leave a like leave a comment and subscribe share with your friends and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye